Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Jason White. This is Jason's Weird Reads and this is where me, Jason, likes to talk about horror books, fantasy books, and science fiction books. And if that's your, uh, if that's your bag as well and, and you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and we'll discuss some books. Alright, so um, recently I've been talking about the fantasy books I want to read uh, and the series I want to start and all that stuff <laughs> but I haven't talked about the series that I haven't finished yet and let me tell you there's a lot um, I am really bad really bad <laughs> at starting series and then not finishing them I don't know why that is but I want to put an end to that I want to finish series my wife Jen she's actually really good at, at finishing series and then rereading them over and over again I don't know how many times She's read, uh, like, Harry Potter or her um, uh, In Death series by uh, J.D. Robb. It's, uh, it blows me away, and I want to be more like that, honestly. I always have, but, uh, you know, things get in the way. You get distracted. I get distracted. Uh, but, yeah, so this is uh, my list. There's uh, about nine uh, series here that I really want to finish. And there's no way I'm going to be finishing these series in 2021, but I guess maybe over the next four or five years, I'm hoping to finish uh, these. M m this year, hopefully, I can finish off a few of these. And there's some I'm planning on finishing this year. I'm hoping to, anyway. All right, let me get started. Um, I want to read, and I've started this one already, but I've already read two books in this, but I'm rereading the first book and the second book. Uh, and that's, of course, the Malazan Book of the Fallen, and that's by Steven Erickson. Now, uh, I, I, as I said, I, I've reread the first book. I'm actually, like, within, I think, the last hundred pages of the final book. And that's awesome. <laughs> it's been a journey. It's, it's taken me over a month to read this book. And it's not because it's hard. Um, it's more... It's more because of the size and uh, and the time, but yeah, there are, there are some issues with reading this book. It, it is, I I don't find I find that it's difficult to absorb information from this book. Uh, there's so many things that happen that my brain just actively shoves some of the information I'm given out the other eye, I guess. <laughs> I'm thinking of, you know, in one year, out the other. But when I'm listening, I'll often listen to one of the books, because there's, I think, seven books in Gardens of the Moon. And then I'll go listen to 10 Very Big Books podcasts, and I'm always astounded at the things I miss. I'm like, how did I miss that? And it makes me think that I'd probably benefit, probably, but not necessarily benefit from reading this book and then starting it over again, because I think I need the block of it fresh in my mind and then go through all the little details but I don't I don't think I'm going to do that the only way I would do that is if I was to switch to the audiobooks and I, in, in a sense I already have because I've been listening and reading at the same time um, in hopes to uh, fix that issue of not picking things up and it has fixed a lot of that issue but I still miss things but anyways the I wanted to remark also that the uh, the audiobooks the narrator for the audiobooks on this is incredible. These, I really, I want to get all the audiobooks for uh, reread regardless because uh, his voices for the characters are astounding. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so yeah, definitely M Malazan Book of the Fallen. I was thinking um, of finishing the series this year, but uh, in hindsight, in regards to how long it's taken me to read the first book, because I have other things I'm reading too, but, uh, uh, you know, it, that might not be a realistic goal, but this is going to be my main series that I'm reading. I'm continuously listening to it. I'm not going to take a break like I am with, uh, some other, uh, series here. And speaking of that, I'm also reading, uh, Way of Kings. I actually have the book. I have two of these. This is my, my paperback. Well, they're both paperbacks, but I have this one too. I got this one because it's so much more beautiful and less intimidating, honestly, because it's only a thousand pages. And this one is like 1,200 pages. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm I'm nearing the end of, of this one as well. I'm in, I'm in the last, I got my bookmark on this one. I am uh, around 725 pages near the end and there's just 
just under a thousand pages. So I'm closing in on this one too. It's the Way of Kings Stormlight Archive. And I'm planning on catching up on that series by the end of this year as well, but I'm not going to be reading it back to back like I am with the Malazan books. For uh, for the Stormlight Archive, I want to uh, I want to take breaks because I'm listening to these mm, for the majority on audiobook, and so far I'm really enjoying it. But I want to finish this series by the end of the year. Um, also, I want to finish Soldier's Son by Robin Hobb. I read this book last year and I absolutely loved it. It was like a, a strange return to reading Robin Hobb books and uh, and I really enjoyed it. And then I just didn't continue. I, I could have finished the trilogy last year, but I didn't. And I don't know if I'm going to finish it this year, but I definitely want to get to book two. Might, uh, might read just one a year, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's good enough that you remember where you are. And it's, it's not a difficult read, but it does have Robin Hobb's uh, beautiful prose and all her tragic characters and the tragic things that happen to the characters. It's a very, very beautiful book. Um, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to finishing. And speaking of Robin Hobb, I want to finish... Um, I've read uh, the Farseer trilogy, but I want to finish off the whole The Realm of the Elderlings. I want to finish the entire series. It's like 16 books. I think it's 23 or 24 books if you count all the uh, novellas that are included and in short stories. But uh, I read, I'm going to have to start this series over and so I don't know when exactly I'm going to tackle that. That might be something I'll do after the, uh, after the uh, Stormlight Archive books um because that's that's a task <laughs> that's a serious task i was intimidated by uh uh robert jordan's wheel of time at 14 or yeah 14 books 15 books whatever and uh but i went through those pretty good and you know robin hobb is a good world to get lost into any world she creates i want to be there and uh, lose myself in so so that's from robin hobb both soldier sun trilogy and her uh realm of the elderlings also, I read the first book of this about two years ago, so it's going to need a reread as well, and that's, of course, uh, uh, the Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. I read the first book of this, and I was floored. Um, this book is experimental, in a sense. It's, it's very unlike any other fantasy I've read, and yet it, it has a lot of the fantasy tropes that you might be used to. But N.K. Jemisin brilliantly twists everything on its head. And her prose, her prose is absolutely beautiful. Um, a lot of people complain about how this book is written in the second person. And you don't even notice after a couple pages. Um, because it doesn't really continue on that thread. It feels more like she's talking to a character. Or not she's talking to a character. It's one character talking to another character. And by the end of this book, you kind of learn who that character is. And that's all I'm going to say about this because I don't want to spoil it too much. But this is a fantastic series, or at least first book. And I've heard the rest of the series does not let down. And so I want to finish this. This one is a, in tight contender with the Robin Hobb, honestly, for after Stormlight Ar Archive. Because I want to get to this immediately. Also, um... About 10 years ago, I was reading a lot of fantasy, and uh, The Dresden Files by Jim Butcher was one of them. And uh, I, I stopped around book three or four, and I'm going to say the reason why, um, because the ending seemed really, really cheesy to me. There was a... Uh, now, this is going to be a spoiler. When my finger goes down, the spoiler is over. <laughs> so, if you don't want to be spoiled for the Dresden Files books, then uh, you can uh, just skip this part. Um, but there was one of the endings of the book, um, had a war with fairies and, uh, Dresden, the main, the main character of the series had to climb a staircase made out of moonbeams to get to the fairy war. And that just seemed utterly ridiculous to me. I'm sorry for anyone who loves that, but, uh, I, I just couldn't continue. But now I've heard some things heard some things about Dresden Files that it gets really good and really dark and and nobody ever mentions the cheesy part and I don't know maybe I'm I'm, I'm completely off my base but 
But yeah, uh, I definitely want to get back into the Dresden Files, which means a reread of some of the, uh, well, all all of the books that I have read. And but that's okay because I really enjoyed the first two books at least. Uh, they were they were pretty fun, a fun take on you know uh, noir fiction. And so yeah, I definitely want to hop back into that world. Uh, the next one I have is the Ryera Ryeria Revelations by Michael J. Sullivan. This was, when I started my booktube channel, it had been a long time since I read fantasy. About six, seven years. And the first book I went back to was the first book. The bundle being, um, well, actually the whole series, I think, of these books uh, were, well, they were first, um, a lot of fantasy fans know this, they were first self-published. And, uh, and then a bigger publisher picked them up and they bundled uh, uh, the books into, so every two books would have its own book. And the first one, volume one of the Ryuria Revelations is uh, Theft of Swords. And uh, like I said, I read the, this first two books technically, and I really enjoyed them. It's a lot of people have said that it's, uh, it's like fantasy light. And uh, yeah, from what I could tell, that's definitely what it was. But I also found that it was also, it was a very, very, great way to return to reading fantasy books because of that light element there's a there's a dynamic between the two main characters that's fun to read and <laughs> um the whole series itself was fun but i didn't finish the series because i'm bad i'm very bad at finishing series <laughs> which is the point of this video but yeah so i definitely want to hop back in i might even start a reread of it because there's not too much i remember and uh and I'll finish that one off. Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn by Tad Williams is the next one. I read this book. Oh, God. This this one I probably read about 12 years ago. I'm not entirely sure. But I, I liked it. I, I remember it had a lot of... Uh, first of all, I remember it was a very slow burn fantasy book. It, it, it moves at a snail's pace. It's more of a, I guess, a character-driven story. Um, but it has all the typical tropes of of uh, of what fantasy was back when it was written. I think it was written in the 90s. Um, nothing exactly new had been pre presented in the uh, in the genre at that time, from my knowledge, anyway. And I'm probably not thinking of something. But anyways, um, this series, uh, the first one being the Dragonborn Chair, uh, was a lot of fun. I I, I want to. I want to get back into it. I, I want to, I want to read uh, these books. I want to see where it goes. I want to see what Tad Williams does. And this book, actually, in one of my fantasy videos, uh, was recommended to me. And I was like, ah, I already read the first one. But I'm bad at re reading series and finishing them off, so I didn't finish it. But, but I want to. And uh, this one, I guess, is a little bit later on. But I definitely want to hop back in. It's a trilogy, and all the books are like bricks, like most fantasy books. They're pretty thick so I'm hoping to get back into that soon uh, next up I have the King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss now I read the first book of this and there's there's I think it's supposed to be a trilogy and there's absolutely no release date yet on on the third book so this one might take a while to finish if it ever gets finished I I mean Patrick Rothfuss he's a fairly young guy still I don't know why people are, are saying that he might not finish it. I'm I'm more uncertain he's going to finish it. He's just taking decades to finish a book. <laughs> and he, you can tell that this guy, he's pretty much a, a perfectionist. He needs it to be perfect before, before he sets it out. If I remember, I'll put a video up to another YouTuber just did why you should read the King Killer Chronicles. His name is by Captured in Words. Uh, so why you should read... King Killer Chronicles by Captured in Words. It's a great video. It actually got me excited to read it again. And it made me realize I didn't hate Kvoth as much as I thought I did. Being separated from the first book for so long made me think, you know, watching people talk about, you know, the people who didn't like it saying they hate Kvoth. I was like, yeah, I kind of hated Kvoth too. Kvoth being the main character. Because he's very arrogant. <laughs> and yet, he fucks up a lot and I think that's that's the point and I remember finding him quite fascinating actually because he fucks up and yet he's he's so full of himself um but yeah I definitely want to finish I mean the prose for this book for these books I guess is is 
beautiful. But I want to I want to reread the first one at some point and then uh, and then read the second one. I might wait a year for this because who knows? In a year we we might have a release date for that. It's probably unlikely, but all right. So moving on, the last one I have here is one I want to start rereading soon because I absolutely love this series, and I don't know why I never returned to it. This is like some of the grittiest uh, battle-hardened uh, fantasy that I ever read. I read it after Game of Thrones. You know what? Game of Thrones should be on this list, but I have my serious doubts. And it's Song of Ice and Fire, not Game of Thrones. But I have serious doubts that that series will ever ever be finished, which... Uh, which isn't uh, ne necessarily a dig on George R. R. Martin. He's pretty much a perfectionist too, and he likes taking his time. But he is getting up there in, in years. I don't know if, if he passes. I don't know if he's going to pass his series on to somebody else, like uh, Robert Jordan did. It would be nice if he did, because some closure would be great. But regarding Song of Ice and Fire, I, I don't think books... Uh, I mean... The first book was a big success, A Game of Thrones, and then so was the second and the third. It was supposed to be a trilogy. Now, I could be wrong about this, but this is what I remember. It was supposed to be a trilogy, and then it got big, and so the publisher was like, you need to write more of these, and so uh, George R. R. Martin was like, okay, and so he expanded the plot, and so, but you can you get a feel of a trilogy if you just read the first three. I think the first three are brilliant, stand like on their own. And I'm kind of happy with the with the series, just at those three books. Um, it there's definitely many, many, <laughs> many unclosed threads of the storyline that need to be closed. But personally, I like those three books the most. the The book four and book five, they're they're good too. They're just not as good as the first three books. So I guess that was the next one. So I'm moving on from A Song of Ice and Fire now to my last one, and that is. The First Law Books by Joe Abercrombie. I read these right after uh, catching up on my uh, Song of Ice and Fire journey. <laughs> and uh, and these books were just almost as good as the George R. R. Martin books. I absolutely loved the First Law trilogy. And I read some of the... Uh, I read some of the... Or at least one... I believe it was Best Served Cold I read. But I haven't read or continued on within the uh, First Law books... Because he read, he wrote at least one or two more standalone books in that series. And now he's finishing up a second trilogy within that world. And I, I need to hop back on to that train. And that's why I want to read these ones soon. I was thinking maybe summer. But if you are interested in reading these books with me, then uh, let me know down there in the darkness. Because uh, I want, I, I kind of want to organize a read along with this. It'll be nothing in the scope of Mike Book's reviews and his Malazan book uh, of the Fallen read along, but uh, uh, you know I I would prefer it to be a smaller read along anyway. So if you're interested in that, uh, let me know down there, and I'll remember uh, at least I'll, if there's interest, I'll, I'll organize things. If there's no interest, then then I'll say eh, screw it. All right, so those are the series of books that I want to finish reading. There's actually a couple more. But I don't think I'll be uh, hopping on those trains uh, anytime soon. So maybe I'll do another video down the line. So thank you for watching. And if you, uh, if you woo, 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 don't know where I was going there. So <laughs> please keep, uh, keep being safe. Keep being kind to one another. And keep being creative. And I'll catch you guys in the next bookish video.